Got an otter here cut the corner. And what's significant about cutting this corner here, you can see the otter track. Two, actually two of them did. You can see the one track right there and there's one right above it. Two of them cut this corner. And what's significant about them cutting this corner is, is that for two years I had caught otter there. Four or five otter I caught out of this spot right there. Good looking otter spot. But the thing is, they're going around that spot. There's no trap there. They're not seeing a square. They're not seeing nothing. But they're scared of that spot. If I set my trap there, they're going to go around it. You're going to catch some of the otter that had nothing to do with them otter. But these otter saw one of their relatives, their mother, brother, whatever, get caught at that spot and know something bad is at that spot. That's why you want to set, you could set that spot because you're going to pick up otter that had nothing to do with them otter. But to catch these otter, you're going to have to set down there in them riffles. And that's why we're going more with the leg holds, you know, to keep, if they have any tendency to be scared of the, the squares, which this spot they didn't, it was, it's the exact spot where they go around. And for <clears throat> two years now, I've seen otters go around this spot. <clears throat> I'd blind set them up here, but they go around a different spot. They, they, they come up, approach it different ways. But that's the spot now. Right where that riff, those two riffles come together, there's two pop bottles there. And what you want to do is go straight down where them riffles come together on the other side of them pop bottles and put a leg hole like I've been showing you. That's where the motor is going to come. And they're not scared of that spot. You know, pretty soon you'll burn up a lot of spots with them being scared of them, but that's otter trapping if you want to catch big numbers. So, like I say, you can, yeah, there's no doubt that them otters moved, went around this spot, and that's kind of what I'm trying to beat home into your heads that, you know, this is happening to you. If there was no sand here. You, If this was all, like, hard or covered up or something, you wouldn't even know them otters went around here. This is just a, a great spot to be able to see that what they're doing. You know, you got to keep your eyes open for stuff like this because noticing this stuff is going to make you a better otter trapper. There's going to be stuff that you notice that I don't. And that's going to take you to the next level. So I wanted to make sure that you've seen how the otters went around this spot. <clears throat>